Hi, my name's Pharaoh, and you find me today at a crash freighter. And the reason for this is because the patch notes for 4.05 mention that the value and the quality of the loot has been increased. And I thought I would take an opportunity to show you how I search for and clear out crash freighters and the best way of actually finding anything using charts. Now this video isn't specifically about that loot, but let's take a look at what I got this morning when I went through. And first of all, I got some salvage data, which was nice to see, even though in this save I tend to just use those for nanites by refining them. I also got six cargo bulkheads, which is a pretty good haul. And quite a number of teleport coordinators, which are very high value items. We can sell those in advanced materials economies for pretty good money. The other notable change is that we get a lot of crafting items. So these are quite useful early on just for selling for a reasonable amount of money. Or later on you can use these for crafting more expensive items. And there has been more of an emphasis on crafting in 4.0 and onwards it seems. Lastly here you can see I got some multi-tool expansion slots which are again pretty nice. Now one of the things I didn't get in this particular haul was salvage frigate modules and those tend to be the thing that newer players who have just got a freighter are really looking for. But I can assure you because I've done this a few times now that you're actually probably more likely or at least equally likely to get salvage frigate modules as you are cargo and bulkheads. And the other thing that I got that aren't in this inventory because they went into my freighter inventory are some warp hypercores. I think I got about five of them. And those are again some very welcome changes to the loot. What I am going to show you in this video is how to safely navigate a crash freighter if you're just starting out, if you're playing perma. And also I'm going to show you how to best maximize your use of charts so that you can always find what you're looking for on a planet. So I'm going to quickly show you that, I've pre-recorded that, and then in a second we'll be back here and I'll show you my route around. Now the charts we want specifically for crashed freighters are the emergency cartographic data charts. And obviously I'm going to need a few of them. But there's another way of getting them that doesn't cost navigation data. And that is to keep a note of all of the different um, space stations you go to. And if I, for instance, go to this one and purchase a random map, then as you can see, the random chart in this particular system is also an emergency cartographic data chart. So it's not really random. Every time I come here, that's what I'll get. It's random per space station as opposed to random generally. So if you've got lots of nanites but don't have much navigation data then it's often easier to just do that. It does take a little bit longer because you can't buy them in multiples, you have to buy them one at a time. So I'm going to open some charts on this different planet. So as you probably know if you open a chart then you get a random point of interest within that broad category. And you can see here I got a distress signal which is going to be some form of crash. Now instead of visiting that, if I continue to open the charts, then I should get one of each type that's available. So the next one is an abandoned building. So the first thing I'm going to do is keep opening the charts until I find a crash freighter. And there's a crash freighter. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm just going to keep opening charts until I get nothing else. And you may have to keep hitting them a lot of times because they will only open if they're finding the thing that isn't available yet. And if it finds something that's already available, it will just say so. So there's a distress signal. So that's the other type of crash site. One with an NPC, one without. And I'm just going to keep hitting it until I exhaust them. Now I know there's another one, so I'm just going to keep hitting them. And 
and there we see an observatory which can also be used to find crashes so it's bundled in with these ones Now I believe that's all of them, but we can just keep hitting them again just to be sure. As you can see, I hit it quite a few times, but we're not likely to get anything else now. And so at this point, I can fly to that crash freighter. And then once I've cleared it out, I can then use the charts and I will only find crash freighters. I may need to keep hitting those charts over and over in order to make it open. But once it opens, it will only be a crash freighter. So here we are back at the freighter and the first things first I always come to get the log and the reason I get the log first is because there are some glitches in this where if you don't go to the log first then sometimes they can remain in your mission log or it won't register properly. So here in your mission log you get like you can see I've got a couple here because one of them hasn't closed properly. Next, I turn around and jump into this large square area. I stand on this platform and I manipulate the terrain on the wider beam. And I keep standing on here to open it. That way I'm at a better position to get away from the radiation. Wait until it pops teleport coordinators again five more then I run through this door or fly across to this door depending on how mature the save is I smash through this open door this used to be accessible from the back here but now you can get from the top it's a lot easier a lot safer because you don't have to go down there clear a bit of space out open the pod from up here wait until it pops and then go to the next one now I always go to the right one next obviously you can do different routes but this is just my habit I like to have my exit strategy sorted out especially in permadeath early on so here I know I'm going to run out that door but I'm going to stand a distance away wait for it to pop and then run out that door straight away now you can go in this door but I got to go out this door because I know the next one's down in the ground here somewhere and this will be my exit so again I'm thinking of my exit strategy Now this one can be the most awkward one because you have to clear the space to find it although of course you could just scan it i know roughly where they are but you could scan but it's a bit misleading as to how you get there it's always above it the doors that are going to go open and the reason this one's awkward is because exit from here to avoid radiation is harder even if you've got rockets you can get stuck and try and get out and sometimes you'll get out but if you're in a panic and you're going to die in permadeath that's the last thing you want to be is in panic or worried about your exit so if I don't have great rockets then I always run to this exit over here and go out that way now you'll notice I'm punching the doors because I don't want to keep switching my weapon so again I can open it from up here I don't get trapped down there because one thing that can happen is you can break your technology so for instance if you break your ability to rocket jump 
in permadeath, you can die down there. And I have actually had that happen to me early in permadeath only the other day. So again, as you can see, I stood on that platform and found it. And then I like to stand up on the ground and open it. coordinators and then I make my way back, back to the ship you'll see it's ticked off on the top left hand corner and then I can find my next one and because I've used that method of opening all of the different charts I can just keep hitting the charts oh, I was lucky I got it the first time I just keep hitting them until it pops a crash freighter and then take off and find it and I'm off to the next one which should be relatively local. Now another thing that can happen is you get redirected back to exactly the same crash freighter or you are nearby and you get a new one and it turns out to be the same one you've already been to before. And if that starts to happen then you're going to start wasting your charts. Now you can obviously reload but either way what you want to do is take off and go into space and then land on a completely different part of the planet. And that way, the next time you open the charts, it won't give you one you've already seen. But equally, because you're still on the same planet and you haven't wasted all those other charts, you can just continue from where you left off and just open the charts for Crash Freighters. So there you are. That's how I do Crash Freighters and how I search for things generally. And many of us do this tip, but if you're new to the game and you just start opening charts and flying to them then it's quite random that way and you waste a lot of charts whereas this way you always know what you're going to get because you've already opened all of the other alternatives so i've been pharaoh hope you enjoyed this tip and i'll see you again soon cheerio